Alright, so how are you guys doing? So yeah, man, um, so finally I'm back officially. Well, I've been back for some time, but like proper, proper now with my microphone and stuff, you know? So yeah, um, so basically on this video here, what I'll be doing for you guys is I'll be showing you how to make um that whisked banner boy type of beat, you know, those kind of beats they um i don't know i don't know how to describe the music i'll say sort of like dance hallish but not too much dance hall you know so i don't know how to describe it but yeah i'm sure you guys are familiar with the artist so i'll be showing you guys how to make those kind of beats i'll sort of explain the whole creation process how i came about to make this it didn't take me that long actually um for me basically like with all the other beat remakes that i always teach you guys is i just listen to various tracks from the particular artist and then I pick up certain trends or certain consistent things within the beat, and then I just remake those, and then I just add my own things to it so that it sounds like that particular artist's type of beat. So that's all that there really is to it. So let me just quickly play some stuff out for you. I'll play this beat out for you, and then I'll continue from there, and I'll explain the process. The reason why I'm playing it at the beginning is so that if you feel like it doesn't sound like the actual type of beat, like something that you hear from Whiskey or Penna Boy, then you can skip the video if you feel like it does sound like it then you can stay tuned and watch some more and then you know sort of check out um how it's done and stuff so let me start it off like this here let me cut some stuff sounds off uh this um yeah so i'm gonna start it off like this i'm gonna start off without the kick something like this here so i'm gonna start it off like that then add this then I'm gonna add this here follow through with the kick So that's basically the gist of the beat. That's how I made it. Um, if you feel like it sounds sort of like whisker or Burner Boy type of beat, then you can stay and, and watch basically as I explain the different parts and how I made it and the critical parts to the beat. If you feel like it doesn't sound anything like that, you know, you're not interested, then you can skip this tutorial and yeah. So let's start. Let me just explain some, some few things. Actually, I'm going to start off by showing you how long it actually took me to make this beat. So it took me about 41 minutes so far, you know, probably lesser than that. I think it's about, I think it was about 20 minutes because I spent some time trying to, as you can see, I've got a new laptop and stuff. So I spent some time trying to figure out how to connect my microphone and all those things. So yeah, now I'm sorted. But anyway, I'm going to start you off with the critical pattern that I, I told you guys that I always observe. So this is the pattern here. It's this pattern here. And literally, if you listen to any sort of like Niger song that's almost the same as Wizkid. Um for example Banner by Thing by Techno. Is, is it Techno? I think so yeah. If you listen to that song you're gonna hear it actually has sort of the same it's like it's this rhythm here it's like you see so it's like pa 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 so if you follow that rhythm there then you just build from that part there then you sort it. So that's all it takes. In terms of BPM, it ranges. I I worked at 110 and then I just took it down to 105 because I felt it was more appropriate there. But you can, I think like around like 100 to 110, you should be good. 
So let me just play this pattern for you and explain it. So it sounds like this. So that's how that pattern sounds. And that's basically the, the, the main pattern that sort of defines most of these these uh, Wizkid and Banana Boy type of beats, you know. They make the, the pattern basically. So I just started off with that pattern there like that and then I added other sounds so let me just add them one by one like this you see so all I'm doing now is I'm just filling in the gaps I'm trying to be creative and see what else can I add to this to make it sound more interesting so let me add another sound you see just different gaps that I'm filling in add another sound you hear the difference then add another sound. Let's see. Let's add the shaker. Then the last sound. And that's basically it like there's not there's nothing else for me to actually explain to you guys like beyond that like if you have this first person that i told you about then you sort it you know and then from there on all you need is with um is that i think it's Wiz. if you listen to Wiz kids new song with drake i forgot what it's called i think it's get close or something like that you listen how simple the beat is you know so i just sort of drew from that and I was like, okay, let me add a sound similar to sort of that as well, like something like a, a steel drum sort of thing. And then I just went and I created a steel, steel drum sort of pattern, and I just add some reverb to it. So this is the steel drum right here. I used, okay, no, that's, those are the keys, sorry. The steel drum is here. So the key, the steel drum and the keys are the same. That's because I start off by making the keys, as you can see how long it is. And I just took the same pattern for the keys, and I added it to the steel drum, and then, yeah. So it sounds like this, yeah. The steel drum on its own, it's like this. So I added some delay to it. You hear like the feed is up. So it sort of fills that gap. If the feed was low, but it's gonna sound like this, yeah. So let me play the whole. You see, it sounds like that. It sounds very flat. And with the beat, it doesn't sound so nice as well. It sounds like this with the beat. You see, it sort of cuts off too quickly. So I just sort of took the feed up a bit. So that it fills up a long, a longer time length, and then it sounds like this. You get it, that type of thing. And then the keys, same keys as the thing, same keys as the steel drum. I just put them here, and I just use the piano. Um, I selected a soft vintage EP, but I don't know, man. Like usually, it's never like they never use your hard piano, so they're never gonna use your these kind of pianos here they never really use the natural grand and all these ones it's never those hard ones it's always those nice soft ones you know just to give it that relaxed feeling and stuff so it sounds something like this here with the with the beat Get it so that's basically the gist of it man like there's nothing more for me to explain in terms of the kick um what i did is just i used i followed almost a similar pattern as this the main the main pattern for the sounds and then i just twisted it around here and there you know because i didn't want to have the kick also going on the same pattern as the other sounds so i just played around with the kick a bit so that's why the kick sounds sort of it's got those off moments as compared to this pattern here so let me play it like this for you let me just play the pattern for you, like this, yeah. So the pattern sounds like this. So the kick sounds, it sort of follows the pattern, but changes and has a few gaps here and there, like this, yeah. So it sounds, it sounds like this with the pattern all together. You get it. So you have that sort of like creativity bit going on in there. And then, yeah, man, so it's just the basic stuff. Like, yeah, that's all there is for me to explain. So just, 
I don't know. Sorry, sorry. I got distracted because I'm watching some TV show. <laughs> so, you know, I'm repeating myself now. But anyway, yeah, it's over now. But anyway, so that's basically the pattern. If you just create that pattern there, then you add these following sounds and all that stuff, you should be good. Um, if you guys have any further questions, please let me know. And what I'll do is I'll just use the same beat and I'll, tr I'll try to sort of cover two genres. Actually, no, I'll just... Maybe I'll make I'll make I'll make another another video with um for thing for a piano because people have been asking me to make a a piano type of type of beat and teach them that so I feel like this is all almost there for example sorry I know I'm getting distracted now but let me just take let me do this a bit for you guys for those of you who are familiar with a piano it actually sounds very much like this you just take it up let's say about one ten twelve nine like this. So not that quick, but like somewhere there. So what you might change would be this here, remove the sound. And then with the same notes, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna change this because usually on my piano they don't use keys that much. What they will use instead will be organs. So let me try jazz organ instead. And then let me show you how that would sound. So it'd be like this. That, that would basically sort of be like the gist of it and then what they might have would be like obviously it is on my piano so they might have random keys going on you know you see that type of thing too. So you see how just simply changing the BPM a bit, removing some sounds and doing a few extra things, you already have a sort of my piano beat going on, you know? So I don't know. I don't know if you guys want me to still do a my piano tutorial after that little sort of preview tutorial that I just showed you now. If you feel like that's not enough and you want a more detailed explanation, I'll probably use the same beat and just play the, the, the steel drums again like I just did now and just explain more in detail though, and give examples of the different artists but yeah man anyway like subscribe comment Facebook Twitter SoundCloud follow all that just there I'm really sorry that I've been gone for a long time guys um, I bought a new laptop now I'm back I'm fully back I got my microphone as you can see and I'm already making tutorials for you guys and now I've got like an internet connection a full-on internet connection so I make a video and I'll just upload it same time. So yeah, man. So me being gone was actually for a greater good. A lot of things didn't have gone right for me since then. So yeah, man. Like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow all the just the shop shop of it.